All right, shallow wall. Well, let's start out by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shem, how about by Shem, how about Shem, how about the apostles and others, great millstone. Shalom on to other. I came out there pushing the word of sincerity and in truth. Yeah, I just want to speak a little bit on this clip that, um, you know, um, Bishop Tazo um, here in Atlanta put in our uh, personal chat. And it's in uh, reference to this this game. And, I, you know, I've, I've been a, a big fan of Metal Gear Solid. Since a child, you know, my brothers and uh, relatives or whatnot used to play play it. And I actually didn't really even play the game. I used to just watch and observe. And it was all kind of military grade deep, you know, style details within the game. You know, um, a lot of information in regards to war, you know, Russia, China, you know, you know, the list goes on and on about just just um like I speak, spoke about uh, military intelligence and stuff like that. Now you have this one clip, and I, I don't forget which one it is. I know this guy right, and he was—he's a new, uh, new feature, newer feature, you know, um, on the game. I don't know exactly which one this is, but you know, nonetheless, it's giving out uh, a, a lot of details in reference to technology being handed over to to the public, you know, for the for the. Uh, for just for weapon weaponization you know and to create a um a a environment of of, of, of basically chaos because we know this devil works through auto web ko you know chaotic events to establish order and solutions you know and we all know the end all be all is that c hip the motb a lot of people scoff and mock and they want to speak down and, and sp speak about us like we just you know, off of our, uh, off of our medication, <laughs> you know, off of our loony medication. That, that's how people look at it, you know. Um, but everything we saying is in cohesion with this, with the spirit and power. Yeah, how about Shema Vashat via the uh, Bible and biblical prophecy, man? So, in this scene, you're gonna see they're speaking about AI technology. I fast forward a little bit up to a minute and twenty, not minute nineteen to be precise. And um, he's just going into the rundown of, on the reason why they was giving the common man and common woman such heavy uh, technology, you know. And the MLB, end all be all is the, the C hip. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and jump into it. Geosynthesis will drown out reality. Then AI bots will flood social media. No one will. Oh, it speaks about AI bots flooding the social media. You know, it's a lot of bots all over social media, a lot of individuals you know that they have a lot of followers you know a lot of those things are bots if you go to the comment sections a lot of um a lot of indiv individuals you know some of them are authentic but some of them are bots you know but it says no one would be able to tell the difference between interacting with the ai machine or a real human online yeah a lot of indiv a lot of messages you may receive online you might think it's somebody else, but a lot of it's automated, you know, and it's, and it's you know, it's just crafted to, um, you know, communicate with you. Esau has this algorithm set, man, you know, but continue on. Be able to tell the difference between interacting with an AI machine or a real human online. Even telephone calls will become totally untrustworthy. That is when we will. Yeah, even telephone calls will become untrustworthy. Yeah, majority of the time, like your phone will pop up. Um, scam likely, scam likely, scam likely this, scam likely that. You know, a lot of your calls throughout the day. You know, if you're not an extremely social person, you're gonna receive calls of un untrustworthy. Um, you know, calls and things of that nature. You know, but it says that is when we will present our solution. You know, and a lot of individuals getting scammed online. You know, from these different calls. I heard of this this chick. She gave her information over to somebody that was caught. I think it was calling her or they was writing her online. I forget what the actual crime was called, but it's a type of scam. And she sent over all her information and they basically ran her bank account clean. You know, she, she tried to file a statement to, to, get, to receive her funds back. I think she was speaking about, you know, half of her life savings type, type mess, you know. But nonetheless, she gave up all her information thinking that she could trust somebody and got scared. 
But uh, continue on. Present our solution. Mandatory digital identity verification for all humans. See that mandatory digital ID ID verification for all humans at all times. You know, and we know that that mandatory digital all or ID verification will be that insertion. All right, it will be that physical technology. All right, that they're going to uh, going to place within you. See, and they already got mo the masses of the people acclimated. You know, you have women that get these um, IUD. I think another word is like Nexa plan, where they'll get these different injections within their body for birth control. You know, you got women that's, that's and that's not actually the, the, the actual MOTB device, you know, but it, these things are like precursors. And you got all these different animals that, you know, you purchase a high-end dog, you know, top-of-the-line dog, in most cases, most people are going to get the dog's microchip. All right. But it's, it's, it's slowly creeping onto the common man and women to get that device. At all times, the only way to ensure that you're dealing with a real flesh and blood human being and not an AI generated mirage. But why? Total information control. See? But what's the reason? Total information control. You know? Going back to to the conversation with Aaron Russo and uh, Nick Nick Rockefeller, he asked um, Aaron Russo asked one of the Rockefellers why, and he basically said full control. They want full dominance. You know, we're at war, contrary to popular belief. A lot of people don't believe the notion of of war because they're sitting in these four quarters and they could drive to McDonald's and they could drive to Starbucks and get a get a latte. You know, they could cut on the NBA, they could cut on the NFL, they could cut on the Super Bowl, they could go out and party, but they don't understand how close we are to the end. You know, how war is being waged upon the elect. All right. Because, see, this devil understands there's a chosen, you know, and he understands that he have but a short time pursuing the Revelation 12 and 12. The devil didn't know if he have but a short time. But continuing on. For too long, the internet has acted as a double-edged sword. Yeah, for too long, this, the internet has acted as a double-edged sword. Um, I forget who said it. It's a quote where it says the internet should have never been created. Yeah, it works as a benefit to the to um, a lot of these different governments on online and e-commerce, you know, generating billions in profit. But like it's speaking about even now it gives too much information out for the common man and common woman to absorb truth so the whole thing is to create and rally true information and, and push against it with disinformation and misinformation you know and that's a fact indeed but continuing on potential for anonymous user activity allows anyone at all to spread any thoughts ideas or information patterns that they please with impunity state secrets Dangerous ideas. I see Lud state secrets, dangerous ideas, ludicrous conspiracy theories. Yeah, you know, they look at it as it's ludicrous, but conspiracy was within the Bible. You know? It's all kind of verses where it speaks about individuals conspiring. The word conspire means to breathe together. You know, and we understand that these go these governments breathe and there's been all kind of plans to to vanquish or kill off our seed line as so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, get the the strong man out of the household, breaking the will of of the strong strong able bodied man. You know, uh, uh, um, indoctrinate the woman against them, weaponize the woman against them. Look, we know, man. You know, and it's and it's uh, an insurmountable amount of truth to show the facts that we present. It's not opinionated. This isn't, you know, certain thoughts that we just came up with. You know. We connect the dots truly through the spirit and power of your how about your I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. It's a lot of good stuff on there. You know, but um Lord willing, I could just post the actual clip on uh YouTube so that brothers could watch it. For who may be interested to watch the whole thing. But I'ma get um I'ma get Amos. Cause the truth is being presented and it's it's our job to tell you the truth. So you can, so you won't have the ability to say, "Oh, I never heard it. I didn't know." You do know, you know. 
because the, the Most High is setting up the prophets, you know, throughout the four quarters of the, of the earth to tell you, you know, whether you hear or forbear. Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Yes, yeah, so he pulls back the veils and he, he makes the truth uh, known. Now it's for you to actually take this information and grow and, 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 and build upon. All right, a lot of individuals see us on the streets. A lot of people see us on the internet. A lot of people have heard of us, you know, but a lot of people ne neglect that calling, you know. Some are actually will hear the calling you know but they so in the matthew the 13th chapter they start to um you know uh um alternate you know their 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 uh to make their calling election sh sure so to speak you know they find alternative means to get into rather than to, um you know laboring and administering unto this truth you know but guess what this word is coming out and it's going to continue to come out like like a, a water man scripture speak about how the lord said he'll um pour out his word like water you know in these days you know prophecy shall spring forth it says before these things come about i should tell you of them so we're here to tell you you know and it's for jake to listen and matter of fact i'm gonna get that in revelations because this prophecy is is major it's only a few prophecies left this is one amongst the few that's going to take place that's going to be basically groundbreaking and it's going to be that elephant in the room that nobody is going to be able to avoid all right revelation 13 and 16 and he calls up all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads right so it's going to be federally mandated for you to receive this this digital imprint within your body all right and you have the choice of your hand or in your forehead and that no man might buy or sell say he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name yeah, and that's why you have these different um major companies elon musk and these different companies working on uh microchipping humans all right people are getting chipped right now you know they do trial runs before it's actually uh pushed out to mass media you know where it's actually verified as safe i think that nature here is wisdom let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six so that's the number of 666 and that is that that the the codify codifications like you have a barcode barcode has 666 on it so this is going to be the mark of satan you know and we tell tell jake vehemently to not take that mark when it's presented you know but you will have the option to take it or not it might be life or death, but nonetheless, you will have that option to take it or not. You know, so just wanted to bring out that clip. You know, you have been told, you have been warned. So it's for you to actually, you know, resist as it is as it written, resist the devil and he shall flee from you. You know, but that I'm going to end it by giving it. Excuse me. I'm going to end it by giving all praise on the glory unto you. How about Shema and Shabbat Shema Kakodash. Double honest to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Shalom, my God.